A lot of times you may need to replace the background for the image in Microsoft Word. For example, I may have an image of the person sitting in the office, but I would like to put this lady into this office and have her background be represented by the second image. We can accomplish this in three steps. First, we need to remove the background on the image one. Second, we need to identify the new background, which is image two, which we already did. And as a third step, we need to align image one and put it on top of the image two. Let's start by removing the background from the picture. Sometimes you may need to remove background in Microsoft Word documents picture. Let's say I have a document open with the picture of the beautiful lady and I would like to remove the background in this picture. To do this, I am going to select the picture, click picture format and click remove background option. As you can see, Microsoft Word attempted and did very good job trying to identify the silhouette of the lady. But some areas would benefit from additional manual touches. In the upper left corner, you see multiple buttons that show up now. We can mark additional areas to keep or we can mark additional areas to remove. We can discard all the changes or keep all the changes. In my case, I am going to mark some areas to keep. I am going to select this option and then with the pencil provided, try to highlight all the areas of the lady's hair. And I can keep doing it until the results look satisfactory to me. I also would need to look at the lady's hands and also I might choose to keep her desk and computer. If you ever are not happy with the choices that you've made, you can always use Control Z button to go to the previous state. Unfortunately, the way this tool works, if you click outside of the picture, it accepts the choices that you've made. So I'm going to press Control Z again, select mark areas to keep and then keep highlighting the areas. And I will try not to go to outside of the picture, but just highlight the desk. Just a few more touches on the lady's hair. And as you can see, you don't have to be extremely precise. You can just tell Microsoft Word that this is the area that needs more improvement. And now I'm quite happy with the results. I am going to keep the changes. And now my goal is accomplished. The picture doesn't have any background. And the only thing I see on the picture is lady sitting at the desk. And now let's replace old background with the new background. So on the left is how the picture looks with original background. On the right, the background was removed. What I would like to do now, I would like to add a new background for the picture that doesn't have background. I don't need this picture on the left, so I am going to delete it. I was just showing it for demonstration purposes. And I am going to bring a picture of the new background. I need to resize it to make it similar size with the picture we already have. Microsoft Word supports multi-layered architecture. The bottom layer is white paper. And now we have two pictures side by side, background picture and picture of the beautiful lady with background removed. To replace the background in the picture, we need to get to this architecture. On top, we need to have image with the background removed. This would be the image of the lady. Next layer, we would need to have the image of the new background. And the last layer would be Microsoft Word document paper. To accomplish this, we need to change the layout options for the pictures. So let's first change layout options for the background image. We're going to select behind text option for the background image. And as soon as we did, make the image of the lady flow on top of the new background image. By playing with sizes, we can adjust it so it looks natural and realistic. If images are of the different proportions, like in our case, we can use cropping technique to make sure everything fits and creates an illusion of the new background image. Also, because Word is the combination of text and images, it's always good to have an option show and hide special characters on. Having this option on allows us to see that there are two spaces here, which we can remove. And as soon as we did, it allows us much smoother flow of the image, one on top of the other. Even after some of the editing, you see that the bottom is not aligned. We still see the background of the old picture and it doesn't look professional because it's hard to edit both pictures when one of them is on top of the other. We can separate the pictures temporarily and make some adjustments to the background picture. To do that, I am going to add additional lines and move picture on top toward the bottom. 
I'm going to select the background picture now and I'm going to crop the picture. I do this by selecting format picture option and using the crop option. I'm going to change the size of the picture a little bit and hit enter. Now I can remove some of the end of the line characters and bring the original picture of the lady back on top. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.